so um, this video was, uh, I was so excited for it, but now I'm just disappointed. So what I tried today was um, to find another way to remove my very thick hair without paying, you know, for waxing or anything like that. I have found something that I do like. It's called V, and it's this cream that you put on for about six minutes. Five, five, six, seven minutes. Like, it depends which how strong you want it to be. I don't know. Whatever. And um, and you just remove it with a, a damp cloth and your hair just, it's gone. So, today I decided um, to make sugar wax, which is an alternative to waxing. And you don't have to pay for it because you can just make it in your house. It's very cheap. Um, you know, whatever. So... This little dough, after two tries, finally got it. And it's very not the way I thought it would be. First of all, it's very sticky-like. When you start touching it, your hands stay as sticky as the ma mass. And it feels like you just grabbed a jar of honey after it leaked everywhere. And you just decided to just keep go on, going on in your day. It's like sticky, everything sticks to it, it's just horrible, I hate, I hate sticky things, and this is all like, it's like a block of hard honey, and this is my result, let's see if you guys can see the difference, you can't really, you can't, but I do have a little less hair, but this took about half an hour, and I still have patches, I, I'm not okay with patches. If I'm going to do this and it's going to hurt as much as waxing, which it does. And you have to, ins okay, it's kind of like, you know when you go to get waxed and that waxing lady just decides to do it a second time and you just want to punch her in the face. Like if the first time isn't good enough, just tweeze the rest or just leave me alone. Because it hurts. Waxing hurts. This hurts just as much, but you need to go over the same spot at least 10 times to remove 80% of the hair. So, to me, this was uh, this was not worth it. I, I'm going to stick to my V, and I'll just keep exploring cheap and easy ways to remove hair. But this was not what I wanted. This is not how I like it, and whatever. I just don't, so. Hey, guys. So... Today I'm going to try something really, really cool that I saw on Pinterest. It's called Sugar Wax. And the cool thing about this is that instead of waxing and spending a lot of money, you can make it at home. And it doesn't give you ingrown hairs because when you get the wax, it's like a little putty. And you can use like one little ball for like both of your arms and stuff like that. And you put it against your hair and rip it off the way that your hair grows. So... Apparently that's supposed to be a huge big deal, so I decided to try it today. So I've had this stove on medium heat for about two minutes now. These are the ingredients that I'm going to be using. We're going to be using lemon juice, two to three teaspoons. We're going to be using a cup of sugar, a teaspoon of salt, and one-fifth cup of water. So, and then in order, when you're done making it, you're supposed to put it on either granite, um, like granite foundation with a little bit of water, or you could use a pan, which I will be using because, I don't know, I feel like it's going to be like really, really messy. So yeah, here's my pan, and it just has like literally drops of water, like barely anything, because they say that if you put too much, it can liquefy. So now you got, okay. So... Here we go. So we're going to start off with our cup of sugar. Then we're going to put one teaspoon of salt. We're going to put one fifth cup of water. Okay. I'm going to put it a little bit lower. Okay. 
All right, perfect. Now that's all in one piece, we're gonna put two to three teaspoons of lemon juice. So here we go with that. One, two, three. And then you have to mix away until it's a yellow golden color. Doing this to it, it's becoming solid, but it's taking a while. So it's still very. Come over here, mom. We're gonna try to see if it's ready. If we did it right the first try, are ready? I'm yeah. about to put it all over my hand. What? Okay, here we go. Oh my god. <clears throat> this is so gross. This is definitely not how it's supposed to be. No. It's very liquidy. But I did it. Oh. <laughs> This is the stickiest thing in the entire world. No, there's no way you can make a ball out of this. It didn't look like this in my video. <gasps> no. Wow. Dun, 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 dun. This is such a mess. Oh, yeah. Okay. So redo. <laughs> They always yeah. say you have to try it a couple times. So remember, we could do, use this to wax, and then we get a paper, and then we rip it. No, didn't feel like. Oh yeah, I'm gonna rip her skin off. <coughs> <coughs> I told you to help me, and you didn't. All your fault. <laughs> I just want to keep it there because it looks nicer. Can you help me do this? Wow. Can you, or at least screaming at me. You're doing nothing. Because you look stuck like a fly. This is good. Maybe I can make it solid like this. I gotta go. Mom, don't leave me like this. Okay, guys, so first try was horrible. So they say this comes off with water, and let's test it. So now I have to wash my hands because I'm full of this. So I'll let you guys know. Guys, so I do have to admit, uh, the water did melt away the, the wax. I did leave a couple spots, and soap definitely helped a lot. So be you know, if you end up in a sticky situation like me, there is hope. Well, there is some still stuck to me, but I'm going to have to go retouch that. 
Okay guys, as I was preparing to do a second try, I came back to my tray that I thought was entirely useless and I was going to take this out so then I could wash it, but look how hard this stuff is. So I feel like now it's ready. Why? Now I don't know. So once again, I'm going to put my trust in my first attempt. So here we go. Let's get this, play with it. Okay, this is definitely the hardest stuff to deal. Don't wet your hands too much. They say that it can also make the ball dissolve. So, ball, it's very squishy. It's very, I don't know, but maybe if I keep kneading it, eventually my hands will dry. I don't know why this is being so freaking hard okay does this look like no it doesn't I have a feeling maybe it was the three tablespoons of lemon juice instead two to three so maybe she just meant by that, just use two. Anyway, it's getting a little rougher, but I feel like it's going back to the state in which I had to wash my hands. So this is kind of getting disappointing. Oh my gosh. Not again. Okay, guys, don't put your trust in your first attempt. If it's wrong the first time, it'll be wrong. The second time you try to fix the first one. Okay. Gonna wash my hands again, and yeah. All right, guys, this is my second try. <sighs> I have the stove on on 4.5, which is about medium, maybe a little bit less. Here's another one cup of sugar, a teaspoon of salt, um, one third of water. And last time I had like a little bit more because I didn't think it would be such a big deal, but this time I put like exactly one fifth. And I'm gonna put two teaspoons of lemon into the sugar so by the time actually I'm gonna put it into the water so that by the time I start mixing it it's like already in there so here's one and two okay so now that we have everything we're gonna start putting it together once again in there for a little bit we're gonna add our sugar, our salt, our water and lemon. And we're gonna mix it with a teaspoon that I used for the lemon and the Guys, please remember that when you're done with the wax and you're going to put it on the tray full of water, you just have a couple seconds to bring it, to spoon it, to spoon it, that's just, get your spoon and, okay, this is just not, you just have a couple seconds to create it into a ball so then you can start kneading it so it becomes very solid and like a putty and then you must put it in a solid container. I recommend glass because it's just easier to remove than plastic because plastic can become stuck to the, it's already so sticky, you know, you just want to keep it as clean as possible, so, yeah. So guys, this is the color. We're going to pour it into our tree.
Okay, guys, I see. I have to say, this one is definitely getting thicker faster than the other one. And I believe it's not only because I cooked it a little bit more, but also because the thin layer of water is very, very important on the, on the surface. So what I did, since I'm using a tray, is just, instead of just having the water, I would put the water, wet it, and just let drain the rest of the drops. Like, don't have drops sitting on your surface just have it wet do not have it's definitely an uglier color it's way more orange it smells burnt it smells very disgusting disturbing it's really gross but i mean whatever gets the job done Okay guys, here comes the most painful part of this process. I know it's not moving here. So, once you're done creating your little ball of fire, you have to wet your hands. Very, very little, so I'm trying to take out as much as possible. Get the wax, which is burning hot, and put it into your hands. Why I'm doing this on purpose. Oh, man, it's hot. Okay. There you go. So that's apparently the wax. I see other girls and they, they, there's just a little bit more solid looking so I'm going to keep kneading it and adding more of the wax as much as I can. It does make your make your skin very sticky so beware. Do you guys hear that? But to be sticky enough to apply and rip off and let's see let's see how this works oh wow it does rip okay finally I think I got my gunk but instead of it being like play-doh it's definitely like it's like a, a hard ball of honey it's very very sticky I don't know how I feel about putting this all over my arms since I already have it on just my hands and I'm very frustrated. So, it's going to be a little simpler handling. But I mean, okay, there is the ball. It doesn't look as solid as the other girl, so I'm going to start. Kneading it to see if it turns golden or something. Um, I mean, unless I keep scraping and scraping, but that will probably take. I don't even know. So, I still have a lot of of this stuff stuck on my nails, but okay. So here we go. Um, usually, what I normally use on my arms is V, which is kind of like a nair thing. And I thought it would be kind of cool to start waxing it, so it takes a long time to grow out. So here we go. We're going to put it against the hair and rip it. Nothing happened, okay? That's not what I expected. Okay, maybe if I apply a thinner layer, and it hurts a little bit to apply. Oh, I got one hair out. That kind of sucks. Why isn't this working as good as I wanted it to? It hurts to put it on because I'm really going. I'm going to try to go for a big wax. Ah, that hurt 
so much but I'm starting like I have a whole patch here a whole patch here a whole patch here okay I feel like this could be a good like if you're oh my gosh I have this hair I really fine whatever um I feel like this would be really good for someone that like just binge watches Netflix and while they're watching instead of eating cereal and not or or chips and not noticing how much you're eating just start waxing and by the time that you finish binge watching at 3 a.m., you'll probably have a hairless arm. Because you'll just be watching and ripping it off and whatever. Because this, I feel like it will take a long time. Okay. You guys can see I have a patch here, a patch here, a patch here, and a patch here. So, my camera sucks. Yeah, but I guess you'll just have to believe me, but I'm happy that I got to finally just try it, and hopefully it works. Oh, that, my skin, it's, oh no, my gosh, it just go everywhere, it's so frustrating. Look, even, I can't even close this without it sticking. I don't know if I like this. I'd rather just do V. It's this cream that you put on for like seven minutes and then you just wash it off with a damp cloth and then everything burns off. Oh my gosh, and it's stuck up to my jeans and it doesn't come off. So, I'm not, like it's not even worth the rips, and then they see that it's not even that painless, that's such a lie, it hurts so much, it hurts like regular waxing. <sighs> no one even waxes those hairs, and you guys see how, s it looks like I just held honey. And it's sticky and I don't like this. So there you guys have it. If you like it, I guess here's my review. I I don't know if I'll do this again. You know, I finally got you know the putty and it's sticky and it's exactly how they said it should be. You know just the way it's leaving my skin and the way it's not responding as well as I wanted it to. I felt like if you're already going through the pain of waxing, then you're doing it to yourself. So you feel like you're adding pain to yourself and then it's not removing. Like I just did a whole strip and literally I got one hair out. Like why would I hurt and burn and not get anything out? It doesn't make any sense. And they see that this is great for thick hair, which is what I have. So, yeah, I'm not a big fan. If you guys want to try it out, you know, let me know how it goes. If you've done it, if you are a loyal user of this stuff, I don't know why you are. What? Good for you.